So I have been playing around with GitHub Copilot's beta preview for the last couple of days in my regular workflow as well as specifically for testing out the AI bits and I have found some interesting results not gonna lie and in this video let's just go ahead and take a look at what is GitHub Copilot and how is it working right now and spoiler alert it's not the end of web developers yet. <music> Alright, so what is GitHub Copilot? It is basically, the site says it's your AI pair programmer, but in a nutshell, it is a AI autocomplete tool. Now they do say that it's not just another autocomplete tool somewhere, more than autocomplete, but it's technically an autocomplete tool, which is artificial intelligence and understands the context of your code. And the last line is super important. We'll see why. Unlike traditional auto completion tools, GitHub Copilot, first of all, does not reside on your own system, which usually is the case if you're working with an editor like VS Code. VS Code runs a language server provider and LSV server, which helps your editor understand what's the next word or what's the next sentence by actually getting all the context of the file in the workspace you are in. GitHub Copilot works differently and it only works for a single file at the moment. But the way this works is that this has to send your file to the server on every keystroke or the parts of it at least. On the server, Copilot is running inside machine, some hardware, however they have figured that out and it returns you immediately the next bit of the autocomplete. It's kind of like a language server provider, LSP, but sitting on a remote server, which is AI powered and works only on a single file. In terms of an LSP, it's obviously less powerful because it does not have context of the other files in the workspace, but I believe GitHub somewhere mentioned that they are still working on bringing more support to that. That's number one. But this is not the interesting part about GitHub Copilot, right? The interesting part about this is that this is AI powered and let's see what that means. All right, so what I want to do is actually tell you how GitHub Copilot is able to, first of all, autocomplete and second of all, get the context of what you're writing. So let's go ahead and first of all, just write a generic function. I have GitHub Copilot enabled. What I'm gonna do is write, let's say function add numbers, right? I'll, I'll just try writing this and let GitHub Copilot take the control. So you can see simple enough, fair enough. I'm using JavaScript, so that's fine. You can all use Python, JavaScript, all the supported languages which they have function. So you see, it, it's kind of dumb because now it's telling me to add numbers two, which is basically the same definition and add numbers three. Probably nobody would want that, but it's, it's fine. It's dumb in some areas, it's super smart in others. So let's see, let's say I give a comment here and I say subtract two numbers and then raise it to the power of two. It, it actually auto completed my comment, so that's that's cool. So you can see add numbers power a and b, return math.pow a and b minus two. That's actually correct code and it figured that out with my comment. So what the hell is happening here is that GitHub Copilot AI is not just able to actually understand what you're trying to do but it's actually able to extract the context out of your comments also this is the scary part and this is the powerful part because now what you can do is you can say create a react component with a blue button and gray background and this is the scary part well not really because it actually you know you just have to give it a little bit more push so let's see where it goes so function create button and actually it's, it's good it's actually really good because the last time i tried the same with i think slightly different comment it was not able to understand the context properly maybe but this is super cool you can see i literally just wrote a comment and it created a button although it's not right in the sense that this needs to be a capital little letter in terms of creating this as a component in react so definitely copilot does not understand react as a whole but it's a start i would say it's it's a good start okay let's try writing a test for this a unit test that checks if the <laughs> you can see it says me add numbers function is working properly if okay let's do that first add numbers function is working properly so function test add numbers expect add numbers one two two be three so it's actually <laughs> spitting out what the test should be and it's fine how about a unit test to check if create button rendered properly test create button create button on click and this is actually you know not right but i can understand like <laughs> what it's trying to do i mean this is something which somebody who's just familiar with javascript might write you know just calling this as a function but in fact you need a bunch of libraries um to render this to mock the dom if you want to you know just get the real uh preview of what this would look like in terms of snapshot but yeah i mean like i said it's not perfect so the scary bits 
of GitHub Copilot are not these. It's not like functions, subtract numbers. It's not the scary part because it's easy to just understand from the function name. The scary part is this, where it actually understands what needs to be done and how it needs to be done. Super impressive. And when you're working with a real code base, it actually helps you a lot. It actually helps you because at least in the file which you're working on, it has a very close to a full context of what you're working, especially on some things like these, for example, creating a button or adding some unit test or something. Now, the big question arises that will GitHub Copilot be able to replace the job of developers. On one hand, you can see that GitHub Copilot actually is able to extract a lot of context out of the comments and whatever you are writing. You can also see Sid's video from DevOps Director where he actually shows how GitHub Copilot is able to crush lead code problems, which is a super interesting thing because those problems comes with a lot of com comments and context and things. So GitHub Copilot is just, you know, going full AI mode in that area. And I'm pretty sure if you just supply more comments to this, it will be even better in terms of output or whatever you want to do. But on the other hand, you do see tests like these, for example. And when you're working on a real world code base, you will see that GitHub Copilot just suggests you all sorts of random things as well at times. So it's a, it's a typical ML tool. I won't say it's ready or it's ready to replace the developers right now but the future scares me a little bit you know not much still but a little bit i'm not an ai person i'm not a machine learning person but the progress at which we are making progress i mean the acceleration it's not even velocity the acceleration of the progress in machine learning and ai the fact that we are even able to use a tool like github copilot which understands the, understands the context of the code is something which we need to keep an eye on right because eventually i'm not sure how machine learning works but if there is just a pure work barrier which is between us and developing a system which is able to understand code so well then i believe we are not far away from a day where we would probably not need a lot of junior developers or you know bug fixing kind of things and this day is far away i'm, I'm i hope <laughs> and um but yeah, this is interesting because now somebody, let's say in five years, can basically write a description of what the website they want in English and, you know, just hire a technical person to just make sure the technical language is right. And once they do on press of a button, on click of a mouse click, whatever you want to call, a tool like GitHub Copilot actually understands the whole context, creates multiple files, folders, structure, everything and you know maybe link to github actions Vercel, aws just deploys it online and you have a working website now why would somebody go and you know use tools like webflow or obviously the colors and the things needs to be matched but why would somebody for example go to a freelancer in this case if they just want a simple blog or maybe like you know github Co you are also able to give some ui colors and things to get a copilot but anyway the point is if there is only a barrier which is in terms of hard work which we need to do not innovatively innovative breakthrough as in that i'm just saying if we are heading in the right direction with ai and if this is the right direction in terms of just unlocking more and more levels of sophistication then definitely the next 10 years, 15 years and 20 years would be really, really interesting for machine learning and artificial intelligence. And these tools will actually make a lot of jobs obsolete in my opinion. But if there is a fundamental barrier to artificial intelligence, which either we don't know or we haven't hit yet, then that's the different story. And I'm somebody who does not like to be pessimistic, but I do believe that we should have that barrier. I mean, if we are able to cross every limit of AI and you know we are just progressing rapidly, then we are actually heading for a time for which we are not prepared as, as a whole society because this, this stuff is powerful. I mean, code is the ultimate thing, which, which just creates everything, not just code as in what you write in web development and scripts, but in general, in nature, like DNA, for example, DNA is code and if we are able to develop an intelligence which is able to manipulate the code at a fundamental level in a very correct way which even is better than humans then we have achieved something but yeah I believe it's not the time to be afraid of github copilot at least not now just use it as your companion use it as, as a tool just another tool which helps you boost your productivity and be a developer while it lasts that's all for this video thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next one